So let's talk about swatting, shall we? Recently, a man by the name of Joshua Peters, who goes by the online handle Koopa Troopa 787 had been doing a live stream. He's actually fucking about on RuneScape and had thousands of people watching his stream, something he typically goes and does pretty often. When somebody within the comments started posting a bunch of real fucked up shit, including his own mailing address. And one thing led to another, and some police ended up showing up at Joshua's door. So, wh why did all this happen? Because swatting. Because swatting is such a funny fucking thing to do, right? Because, lol, dat reaction, though, so fucking entertaining. So entertaining to have cops come into your home. Keep in mind that Joshua lives with his family. Police came in under the impression that somebody had been shot and somebody was being held at gunpoint. And that's what the police are expecting when they go in. So they come in with all intents and purposes of trying to go and ensure the safety and taking down whatever fucking sick individual is in there. Meanwhile, what they ended up finding was a scared to death and confused fucking family. All because some little spineless fuck on the internet thought, Oh, th this is so funny, lol, so funny, swatting, ugh. I just, I, I can't fucking wrap my head around this kind of shit. Some people will go and label this shit as pranking and trolling and a bunch of other shit, and I just don't see it. Call me fucking weird. I just don't fucking see it. I don't. I can't, I can't understand this kind of crap. You know, this dude had to see police holding guns to the fucking heads of his family members. Okay, right now you're listening to a full-grown man who has had that shit happen in his own home. Not an actual swatting incident, but where the police had actually come into the house and had pointed guns at his family and shit. As a matter of fact, this has happened when I was very, very young, but I got to hear all the stories about this shit. And, and the fucking horror behind it. And the fact, like, my fucking dog was almost shot at that point, because dog was obviously pretty pissed off that these men came in, and it just absolutely fucking nightmarish. So I can understand, I can sympathize with him, you know, and I'm just, it, this shit pisses me the fuck off. I don't, to me, if you were ever going to go and take the time and energy to actually go after somebody, go after and try to take down somebody who really fucking has to come and somebody who's done some fucking wrong. What, are you fucking pissed off that they're playing a game that you don't like? What, they said some fucking comments on the internet that you don't fucking like and you decide to go and crank it to 11 and pull some stupid ass shit like this? I mean... I just, fuck, man, I, I don't, I, I don't even know where to fucking, for real, I really have no fucking clue where to begin on this kind of shit. This, this, this fucking mentality just blows me the fuck away. And the people that find it fucking funny, what's humorous about, what's humorous about somebody almost getting killed? Wh where are the fucking yucks at? What, does it stop whenever somebody gets killed? What, is that when it stops, or does it continue to keep going? You know, and I just... I don't, I don't understand, and 99.9 .9 fucking percent of the time, when this shit happens, it happens off screen. So, what kind of fucking reaction are you, you stupid motherfuckers even really getting out of it? Nothing. Not a goddamn fucking thing. Wasting the fucking time uh, of yourself. The fucking individual that you, you're all fucking pissy pants over. The fucking police. And, and the thing, okay, right now, there, there's an actual interview that you can go and watch online. I went and I had checked it out just for the fuck of it. If you go to, it, it's going to be in the link, but if you go to the page for Drama Alert, he actually has an interview with Koopa Troopa 787 Joshua. They can go and hear in full detail about it on his own YouTube channel, which I'll also include that in the description. You know, he, he pretty much just makes a reaction video talking about it and then just tells them, you know, uh, fucking man up. You have a problem with me. Have a problem with me, but don't include my family. And he's 100% right. But all, all the little anonymous motherfuckers online that think, you know, oh, nothing can happen to me. You know, they got that fucking chip on their shoulder. But... When shit hits the fucking fan and somebody starts knocking at their door, all of a sudden their fucking tune changes real quick. You know, th this is a fucking shame that people have to be worried about streaming online for people that would just enjoy the content or enjoy the individual and their personality on that. They have to worry that this is the kind of shit that's going to happen. 
You're in the comfort and safety of your own home. You still have to fear. Why? You know, and I, I get the whole thing. The fucking internet comes with that kind of... It, it's that territory. I fucking get it. But it doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it fucking okay. Doesn't make it make sense. You know, I'm just like... I, it, it fucks my head up. It really fucking does. Like, this is a bunch of fucking bullshit. Fucking people almost getting hurt. Fucking lives being messed up. All because of what? You don't like somebody's content? Why the fuck are you watching then? That's my... It's like, why the fuck are you watching? Is that... Are they impacting anything in your life? Really think about that. Are they impacting anything in your life? Outside of you just watching their shit. Like, are they having an immediate impact on your life and the things around you and those that you fucking love when you're not watching them? If the answer is no, then what the fuck then? I mean, th this is even a fucking level of butthurt. This is, isn't even a level of fucking childishness. You know, th this fucking borders on being fucking psychotic. And again, somebody will, it's just a joke, it's just a joke, it's just a joke. Whenever shit hits the fan, motherfuckers can't handle anything. And apparently from his shit that I was reading, the fucking dude that had did this, at least from what I'm reading and fucking looking at right now, but apparently dude goes by the name Famed God, and swatting prankster, telling you, man, motherfuckers like this, ass whoopings, up and down the fucking block, no chance of fucking stopping. As soon as the one foot gets tired from kicking, just gonna go and hand off fucking marching orders to the other one. I'll fucking hop if I have to. This shit, it just fucks my head up, man. I hope that it is, it, dude actually did get caught. That's all I can say. Hope motherfucker did get caught. But is it gonna send a message to anybody else out there? Nah, probably not. One person gets caught, that just means the next person has to be that much more careful. That's all there is to it. But the thing is, at the end of the day, you want to fucking really get to somebody, you just don't fucking watch them. Tell them to fuck off, right? You know, if they're really doing something that affects your life, that's one fucking thing. You know, if they're doing something to to affect you in some other way, I, I can understand being mad. But going this far? Fucking swatting and shit? Get the fuck out of here, man. Th this shit, it's fucking tired, it's fucking old, but it's gonna keep on happening. And it's, it's, it's fucking revolting every single time. And fucking... Dude had his fucking family on the fucking floor. On the floor with guns pointed in her fucking face. Really, think about that. I know nobody's been in that situation. At least most people listen to that haven't been in that situation. But that's fucked. <laughs> I just... I, I don't fucking get it. I don't. Anyway, I'm just glad to know that his, him and his family are 100% safe. Nothing bad happened. I'm really hoping, cross my finger, cross my toes, I'll cross my motherfucking goddamn testicles if I have to. Knock those fucking bitches up. Hoping that it's actually true and this motherfucker did get caught that did it. So, either way, throw the fucking book at him if that is the case. And like I said, check out the two channels down below with links to everything, drama alert. And to uh, Josh's channel, Koopa Troopa 787. Either way, this fucked and that's it. I'm out.